Hi guys, hope you're well and welcome to this Army Showcase video. I have a real treat for you today. This is the third phase of a blue custom chapter Primaris force. Now, if you're new to Siege Studios YouTube channel, then firstly, welcome. Here at Siege Studios, we're a UK-based premium commission miniature painting service with 28 painters who all paint from our introductory bronze above tabletop minimum standard all the way up to platinum, which is our competition entry quality. If you are interested in a commission with us here at Siege, be it for a character, a small force, or army like this, then all you need to do very simply is head to the description of the video where you can find a link to our website where it says get a quote. Click on that link, it takes you directly to Siege Studios website and our contact form. Once you're on that contact form, all you need to do very simply is complete that contact form by selecting the relevant drop down options from, for your project from those available and in the message section include a list of models in our model list format. Once you fire that off to us, we'll come back to you with a quote and get the process started. We're back in a second to have a look at this awesome Primaris Force in more detail. See you guys back in a sec. So first up, as ever, guys, let's have a look at the characters from this really cool Primaris custom chapter force. Uh, and this is the third phase of the army, which we've completed. There's two other videos that are on the YouTube channel, should you wish to take a look at those. And uh, they will be linked in the description of this video. Um, pull forwards. Uh, let's start with the uh, Phobos Librarian, first of all, just to get you looking at him. Really, really, really cool Phobos Librarian. It came from the Shadow Spear box, as you guys may well know. Uh, love the pose. Probably one of my favourite um, of the new librarians out of the two of them. I think I do prefer the Phobos one slightly, but Simon's done a stellar job here, as you can see, highlighting all the little details on the armour, the hood, the cape, the cloth, doing a lovely brush blended power or force weapon here, as you can see, which is really, really, really nice. Uh, all the text and everything done there on all of the purity seals as well. The book there all highlighted nicely and uh, all the sort of glowing cables uh, on his armour as well. Just all done there in a lovely kind of complimentary blue teal colour to the rest of the model. Uh, so that's just him. We'll have a look at the lieutenant. Just another really, really cool custom lieutenant model. Um, just again with a lovely brush blended green power weapon there as you can see. Uh, all the extra little details all across the armour all fully painted. Every aspect of detail work done to a lovely lovely crisp finish and all the highlighting done in a really sharp fashion as well uh, so that's just uh, the lieutenant uh, and then we'll pull forward the apothecary again another really really cool uh, character model from the primaris range uh, loads of little details all done on here lots of blood used on this guy as well um, holding the gene seed there looking through obviously his uh, inspection glass thing there just to have a look at obviously that gene seed all little screens and dials all fully painted there uh, all the little lights and everything as you'd expect um, so that's just uh, the apothecary and i do love the, the half and half blue and white shield as well keeping that chapter sort of colors and heraldry on there as well which is really lovely uh, and that's just the apothecary from this force uh, and then we'll have a look at the phobos lieutenant another really 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 cool model uh, again really sort of diverse pose here scanning for next target all the lenses and everything all fully painted all the lights and everything done there as well in a really lovely fashion We've got the purity seals there, all with the text and everything added to them, and uh, a little bit of scratching done on the leather pouch of his pistol there as well, and all the pouches and things have got a little bit of weathering on them as well, but all the purity seals as we move around have got that text on them as well in a really, really crisp finish. So that's just Lieutenant. And then finally, a custom chapter master or custom captain uh, or lieutenant. Uh, whatever our uh, client wishes to use him for. We can't take credit for the build on this guy. It was our client, uh, but a really, really cool model. Cool weapon here, uh, using the custodian kind of spear as well, which is really nice. Um, adding some extra blades and things on there. But again, you can see the brush blending that's been done on those blade tips as well. Uh, moving around all the skin, attention to detail, all painted, all the eyes and everything all fully done. Uh, all the little details across this guy all picked out. And again, the little glowing green screen there on his all specs as well, all done just sort of bounding forward there looking very intimidating uh, but again a lovely lovely model that uh, was, was created by our client uh, again we can't take credit for it but again we've put the painting we've uh, we've loved thoroughly doing the work on this model so that's just him uh, up next we have all of the infantry to come guys so do stick around for that that's coming up next um, and then we have the heavy hitters coming at the end of the video see you guys back in a second So next up, let's have a look at all the infantry from this force, guys. And there are six eliminators and 20 
infiltrators uh obviously the infiltrators come from the shadow spear box as well as the eliminators uh but really really cool models um let's dive in have a look at the eliminators first of all again all these infantry painted by simon and just to show you the consistency from model to model again this is just one of the eliminators here our client didn't want any camo on the um on the shawls uh, so they're just done in a very dark, ominous style. But again, you can see those hints of the blue armor just showing through on the various areas, which is lovely. Um, now, all of the sort of uh, spec ops or sort of infiltration troops are done slightly darker uh, with the armor being not black, but just like an off, bl off black kind of bluish kind of color. And then various little bits of armor paneling or edging are done in the traditional blue of the rest of the force, which I think is really cool for this kind of like special operations kind of part of, the, of his army. Uh, so that's just uh, one of the infiltrators there. Pull forward the sergeant, just so you can see with his uh, all the green lenses done across the models, all the purity seals, everything fully painted there. As you can see, all, every single aspect of the armor all fully done in a lovely, lovely clean fashion. Uh, so that's just the sergeant. And then we'll work through the squad, just so you can see the other chap here. Again, a lovely, lovely, really, really cool model. Again, all those extra little details, all fully painted and edged in a lovely fashion. Jump straight across, just so you can see the consistency from unit to unit to the other uh, eliminator squad. Again here, just moving around all the same sort of attention to care that gone into these models from from unit to unit so you can mix up the squads very easily uh, when it comes to gaming without any worries about consistency uh, something you should expect from us here at siege uh, so that's just the other sergeant and then we'll have a look at the uh the last eliminator again really really cool model and uh, in a very sort of uh, target acquiring pose there as you can see uh so perfect so next we're gonna have a look at the infiltrators there's 20 of them as you can see uh and we'll move through now obviously these are very very similar from model to model in the sense of the posing options because of the uh that they were from the starter box but again just saying this is one of my favorite chaps here throwing the grenades smoke grenade i love the little green tinge there on the grenade as well which is really nice all the lenses and everything fully done there as you can see on the bolters again lovely subtle green glow on the lenses on the heads of the marines as well but every little detail all fully picked out and you can see how it's like a blue black kind of color the armor they're not black but they are like a very very dark dark navy uh, which is lovely and you've got the hints of the original armor chapter color obviously on the knee pad and also on the trim on the pad as well which is lovely so that's just one of the normal infiltrators uh, pull forward another one here so you can see him again all the little lenses all fully painted from all, all the text on the purity seals there pull forward the sergeant uh, from this squad just so you can see him again loads of scar tissue there on his face but all picked out and a sort of bit of a uh, red tinge to that scar as well all the little dials and everything fully painted and if we just get that to focus you can see all the attention and care and detail that's put onto those screens little blips and things all put on there again that's just the sergeant moving him around so you can see the attention and care and detail on all the aspects of the model uh, and then we'll pull forward one more from that squad and then there's a couple of caps sort of more sort of models i want to show you guys just have extra little detail Again, another infiltrator here. Purity seal all picked out with all the text and everything on it as well in a lovely, lovely clean fashion. Uh, and then we'll jump across to this rear squad. And I want to show you the uh, sort of the Medicaid guy. And so I've done a really cool thing of painting the arm white just to distinguish him. Uh, you can see all the little screens and everything all fully done there as well. All the little lenses and everything painted. Moving around. Moving around so you can see all the little details and everything. And they've got a white incidental little mark on his backpack just so that his chaps from behind can see that he is the Medicaid guy which is really cool. So that's just him. Let's have a look at the sergeant from this back squad as well, because I haven't seen this pose yet, which is really, really nice. Again, just uh, taking some intelligence there, but a really, really cool model, really sort of stoic pose there with his foot raised as well, which is really, really nice. Um, and then we'll have a look at one of these guys shooting, because I do like this model. And again, just, again, the attention and care to detail from model to model, you can see every aspect of detail fully painted. Uh, and moving around just so you can see the very clean finish that's been achieved on all of these uh, and then we'll pull forward the other medicaid guy because i do like him and you can see his lovely white arm there as well all done in a really really nice fashion with all the blips and things done on the, on the screen as well which is really cool so that's just the other medicaid guy uh, and then one last chap let's have a look at a guy with a pistol just because you haven't seen one of those yet again really really cool model just using his sidearm rather than his bolter uh, just maybe to execute someone or something but that's just uh, one of the ones with the bolters uh, and pistols is there as you can see it's a really really lovely model uh, and that's all the infantry from this force guys up next we're gonna have a look at the heavy hitters we have three executioners coming up stick around So last up, but by no means least, let's have a look at the three Repulsor Executioners uh, that are a part of this custom Primaris force. They're all a little bit different, uh, and I'll show you that reason for that. They're all fully magnetized as well, so all weapons can be interchanged and moved around. Uh, let's pull forward this central one first of all, just so you can see him. 
Uh, this one lovingly called the Spear Indominatus. Uh, each tank has got a little bit of freehand on it as well. Every little end's all done there in a lovely complementary green as well, which is really, really cool. The little frag launcher missiles are all, um, or grenades are all picked out in red as well, which is really, really cool. Uh, again, extra little bits of freehand, little totems and things all written on the side of the, the, the tank as well, which is really cool. Uh, but again, the other thing as well is it's quartered in this black here as well, which is really nice. Uh, each tank has a different location painted in, in black just to distinguish it on the tabletop and also give some visual interest of the models but again really 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 cool tank loads of detail dripping in stowage all the metal work has got this lovely lovely subtle uh, chipping all done to it as well which is really really nice uh, moving around all the lovely subtle tra color transitions from the darker portions into the brighter in the middle which is lovely as well and then just moving around you can see all the stowage and everything done all the full lenses and everything done in a lovely lovely super 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 lovely fashion um, and then what we'll just show you is the magnetizing as well so the main barrel does actually come off of the tank as well and then uh, in true blue peter fashion we have uh, a plasma weapon that just goes on there as well and i'll just move around this side just so you can see that in better detail as well all the bases are magnetized as well so they just literally just clip straight onto the tank as well which is really nice if i can just line up the holes uh, which I can't obviously there we go uh, but you can see that plasma weapon there as well which is really really cool in that glowing green energy as well which is really lovely and then just to change it back very very simply all we do is we just uh, drop that out and then put the main barrel back on and all these other weapons here are free moving as well which is really nice uh, so that's just the first of the three executioners um, Again, I will show you the individual little free hands and things that are done the other ones. So this one, Herald of Light, really, really cool. Again, this section here done in the black as well, which is really lovely. So that's just this one. Uh, and then moving around just so you can see on the other side, the consistency from model to model. Again, all those lenses and everything all fully painted uh, in a really, really clean fashion. Do like them ever so much. Uh, and this color scheme is very interesting as well. Uh, so that's just the second one. And then the third one, uh, exactly the same. Uh, but if I just remove the turret for you, just so you can have a look, uh, on the top of the tank we have two uh, lovely bits of freehand here. Uh, Dawnbringer written on the top in two lovely scrolls uh, and then just moving around, so that's just the base I'm magnetizing. Uh, put the turret back on just for our client, just so you can see obviously the tank all again in its glory. Again, same consistency from model to model. Uh, really, really lovely, lovely fashion. And the central part of black being in the middle here as well, just to denote this tank plus the top black sections here as well, which is really cool. Uh, so that's just that. And again, just to show you the magnetizing of the base, uh, trying to do this on the camera. Uh, you've obviously got the magnet there and then obviously you just line up the slots on the bottom of the base when it decides to click into place. That would be lovely. And uh, just get that to go there. There we go. So that's just all magnetized on now for our client as well. Again, really, really cool models. That's three Repulsa executioners ready to join his force in this third phase. We're back in a second to have a look at all of it again in its glory. See you guys back in a second. So thanks for checking the video out guys. I do hope that you've liked this custom Primaris force. I know Simon had a great time working on the third phase of this vast army project which we are being commissioned to do. If you are interested in a commission with us here at Siege, be it for a character, a small force, or a large army like this, then all you need to do very simply is head to the description of this video where it says get a quote. Click on that link, it takes you directly to Siege Studios website and our contact form. Once you're on that contact form, all you need to do very simply is select the relevant drop down options from those available for your project and in the message section include a list of models in our model list format and fire that off to us to get the process started and get a quote back from us. Uh, while you're here on YouTube, do us a huge favour, hit the bell icon, subscribe to the channel and drop some comments. Uh, it all helps and if you do hit that bell icon, you will be notified when new videos do go up on the channel. Also in the description, you can find all the links to our social media, so Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. Go give us a like and follow respectively on those to keep up to date with all the things that we get up to here at Siege. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.